Florida's anglers have spoken, and biologists at FWC's Fish and Wildlife Research Institute have listened. Bed fishing has become a hot button issue amongst many anglers and non anglers alike. So, in 2012, our biologists began a study to quantify bed fishing impacts on the number of young bass that are produced each year. Nine one acre hatchery ponds were loaded with nest predators, forage, and different kinds of structure to help bass find nesting sites and to provide cover for newly hatched young. Stocked bass received a tag and a fin clipping in order to identify them and later track the success of their nesting behavior using genetic analysis. Biologists performed snorkel surveys every other day to locate, mark, and track the success rates of bass nests holding eggs. Biologists were often aided in their search by seemingly curious or aggressive fish this confrontation typically meant that an egg-bearing nest was in the area. Half of the ponds were used to expose nests to angling. When a nest was found on a fished pond, biologists used artificial lures to get a defensive response from the males guarding the nests. Once caught, they were removed from the nesting area for one hour so the impacts of angling could be observed. In the fall, the ponds are drained and the fish collected. Analyzing fin clips taken from all young bass documented during the year and comparing them to the known adult bass in the ponds, biologists can identify which mature males and females contributed to the new year class. Combining the genetic data with the angling data, biologists can determine which fish contributed to the next year class. So far, biologists have not seen a real statistical difference between the fished and unfished ponds as far as the number of young produced. However, they did see differences in the numbers of nests produced. Moving forward, biologists will be conducting similar tests in more natural settings on bigger systems to shed more light onto this issue. FWRI's freshwater fisheries biologists are working hard to improve and conserve Florida's freshwater resources for both fish and anglers.